Suppose you lived in a society where the government wanted to make sure all of its citizens were absolutely compliant. To do this, they worked to addict people to the daily dramas that they broadcast across huge television screens that cover the entire walls of their homes. They carefully censored the news so that no dissenting opinions were ever justified. And they made brutal examples of every enemy of the state. This is the society that we are introduced to in Fahrenheit 451, a novel written by Bray Brad Ray Bradbury in 1952. In order to ensure that no unwanted opinions or concepts ever entered into the minds of its subjects, the government banned all books and set up a special force dedicated to policing this, uh, this policy. This force, known as the firemen, would burn down any house where books were found, and then the owners of those books would quietly disappear. The protagonist in Fahrenheit 451 is one of these firemen, a man named Guy Montag, who one day decides to take a book home to try and understand why people would keep these things in, in, the, force, or in the face of such brutal opposition. After he reads the book, he realizes the inherent value of books and is suddenly faced with a crisis of conscience. Now, what should he do with this new revelation? Should he just ignore it and continue as if nothing happened? Well, that's what his boss wants him to do. Should he rebel against the government and try to change these things? Or should he just resign his position and quietly disappear? What would you do? These are the questions that propel the narrative of Fahrenheit 451 to its dramatic conclusion. I highly recommend this book as it explores the dangers of a society whose government has the power and ability to enforce such strict censorship. And I think it's relevant today when we have large, biased, and agenda-driven organizations that can control and filter all of the information that we can access. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. I highly recommend it.